What's up everybody? So I wanted to give a quick run through of the uh, Moto Loader. This is a budget motorcycle uh, automatic loading uh, tool or mechanism that I built. I didn't want to spend thousands of dollars on many of the ones that are available. I have a lifted truck. Um, I like my truck a lot. I didn't want to lower it and I wanted to be able to put two bikes in the back uh, pretty easily. So the only way to do that by myself is really to have some sort of an automatic system. So just a quick run through of the specs here. So this is a, a wood platform uh, with steel, uh, reinforced with mild steel and it has a it folds so that it'll fit a six foot bed it'll also fit my eight foot bed with the tool chest so i'll be able to close the bed with the platform inside um, the the system here is essentially these are these are um, gate tracks so this is a, a wheel that goes on the on the on a rolling metal gate and they're they have bearings inside it's pretty robust i think each one is weighted to 300 pounds or so and uh, that's a Harbor Freight 5,000 pound winch and uh, on the bottom of the platform is a, a V, basically this material uh, which runs on the, on the wheel, on this V groove wheel. So really the hardest part is kind of figuring out the exact spacing of this center wheel which is where the cable runs through uh, and then you know making this this, the right height and, and spacing so that the tracks, when they come up, they'll run smoothly up onto here and not bind. So that's really the, the trickiest part. Everything else is pretty, pretty uh, logical, I guess. Um, the back has some heavy duty wheels, caster wheels uh, that I also found on Amazon and everything's welded. Um, I used what is this, a four by four uh, treated lumber on the bottom as kind of the frame for this, and it's a ladder frame. And then I put some uh, just plywood on top, uh, and then I have some anchor points, so this can be mounted as either a single chalk, or I can put two chalks. And then I have these kind of, um, they're like nut, they're uh, inserts, and you can, they're threaded inserts for wood. And then, these are lined up for the for the chalk mounting points. You can see I just bolt it on and then just zap those seven uh, bolts off and then move it over and add the second chalk uh, if I want to put two bikes on. And that's about it. And then there's a kind of a steel bar on the front. This carries all the load, so it has to be pretty robust. This is very thick gauge steel. And there's the kind of fabricated mounting point it's not pretty. Uh, I think I'll probably do a V2 of this with a with all the things that I learned and some slight improvements here and there. And uh, thinking about also publishing some plans and links to all the parts. Also, the the tailgate should be reinforced. I added this angle here. Ideally, this would be thicker. As you add more weight, more bikes on this, obviously the the tailgate will want to bow a bit. So, re kind of reinforcing this. We're getting rid of the tailgate altogether and just running it off the edge of the truck. Um, I want to keep the tailgate and I want to have that functionality. So I wanted to do this and then I found these. These are basically just to help reinforce the, the tailgate, which is great. So yeah, that's about it. Let me, uh, let me load this bike up. This is a ramp that I have from, a, from my lift at home. And I just cut a little slot in there. Pretty slide in. Pretty self-explanatory. So for the hitch, we just go in. So now here, I just need to guide it onto the track. What is that, this kind of balance point and then get it help it get on the track and there you go. And then I have these pins which go into some plates here on the side just to lock the, the ramp on. And I just need 
to adjust the tension here. So I can slide the pin in, and then once it's in, I just tighten like that, just one click, and that keeps it from coming out. I'm redesigning that mechanism just to make it a little bit easier and not relying on the winch to hold it in, but there's one on each side basically to keep the ramp from flopping up and down. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So like I said, I hope I'll put some plans up soon, but let me know if, uh, if you're interested, if you have any questions. All right, take it easy guys.